if you're ready to relax and leave your stress behind, then it's time. Leave reality aside as you open your heart to the peaceful journey ahead. I had my mind set on a peaceful wipe this time around, and the desert was my favorite place to capture a peaceful vibe. So I headed deeper into the desert. Eventually, I found this island, secluded, distant, and quiet. So I swam over. When I arrived, I found one base and a ton of wild animals. I instantly knew this would be my home. After crafting a bow, I did some hunting. With a little more wood in my inventory, I began building my solo paradise. I would make runs to collect wood. To build a cozy base like this, you need a lot of wood. And I was lucky that I had a hatchet this early to be white. This wipe is not intended for those that crave chaos. This wipe is intended for those that chase peace and comfort. A wipe created to help me cope with my reality and find my inner escape. A wipe without stress to bring you closer to a quiet mind. A quiet mind and a relaxed existence. With the new nightlight update, I was able to work in the dark until my eyes grew tired, and I laid down a campfire and lit up the base. I continued my work all through the night and into the day, building out the second floor to my cozy base.
after laying down a TC, I took a break from building and headed over to the nearest river to collect some pumpkins and corn. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to worry about food for a while. closest monument to me was the dome, so I headed over to do the puzzle and get some loot. Of course, I was veering away from the primary goal and a bullet was just what I needed to correct my path. Farming barrels like this on land is good, but what I needed this time around was the ocean. And so I farm the ocean, far from any campers. Out here, I could move at my own pace, and all I had to do was drive my boat to the shore, and I was home. This strategy was working, so I continued to do it, and this time I took the boat straight to Lighthouse to recycle.
ocean. Time was flying by, so when I hopped in my boat and headed home, the sun was setting before my eyes, a beautiful orange, unfazed by the water below or the clouds above, a sun no different than you and I, a sun that has to rest. And by the time I got home, it was dark. With my newly acquired scrap, I began to research items in my tier one workbench. I'm a sucker for rain. When it rains out, I get a fuzzy feeling inside, just knowing that I'm dry and safe from the rain, in my own little bubble, watching the world all around get drenched, gives me a feeling of relaxation. So on this rainy day, I sat in my rocking chair and I admired the sky. What a strange sky it was, but breathtaking at the same time. Eventually, it got too dark, so I retreated inside and turned on the campfire. With a role player base like this, I'm fully aware that my loot is not safe inside. But that's not the point of this base. This base is supposed to be carefree. If I lose what I have, so be it. 
as long as I can remain carefree. This particular ocean run was lucky because I found a jackhammer during any of my other wipes. This would be a game changer, but since my base was made of wood, it had little impact, but I still put it to good use. Since I had the island mostly to myself, I decided to try out the metal detector. The loot I got from it wasn't too bad. I might make use of this more in future wipes. I took some time to collect some metal and sulfur using my jackhammer. I figured at this pace, I might as well collect what I can. Not that weapons were a priority, but if I got my hands on one, at least I would be prepared. did some reconstruction and luckily it was wood so a jackhammer was perfect for taking down walls this entire base was improv building so adjustments like this were expected Up to this point, things had gone smoothly. My TC was packed, my boxes had loot, and now I had a mixing table to help speed up things, and a chimney to ease the pressure of the night. Over these couple of days in rust, the sky mostly rained, and the gloomy clouds seemed to follow me wherever I went, as if the sky was wanting to tell me something before I lopped off for the night, but still I did, and that night I slept comfortably, no stress, no pressure, no matter what happens in the morning, and morning did come, and I woke up, I locked in, and I was greeted by this sign, a clear indication that I had been raided, but what the sign said made me smile. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thanks 
to my YouTube members. I hope you all come back around for part two. You've been watching an Orange Dream production.